Hey guys, welcome back to new video. And in this video, we are going to create our custom intent, and based on that intent, we are going to send data to our another app by using broadcast receiver. So let's get started and see how we can do this. But before that, you need to create your receiver app. So go to File, New, New Project, select Empty Activity. Next, your application name, your package name, your location, language is Kotlin. and you have to choose your minimum sdk so in my case it is api level 23 and lastly click on this finish button so i have already created this so i am not going to create a new project again so i am going to cut this and from here we are continuing with our main part so first go to your activity main design mode drag and drop a simple button in it provide constraint go to split mode and change the text and call this text send broadcast all right jump into our main activity and here i am going to create a variable private where button which is a type of button initialize with null and within our on create i am going to initialize our button with find view by id r dot id dot button and attach a set on click listener make sure it is null it it it, it is a case that sometime it will it will be null so use this question mark operator now within this set on click listener i am going to send a broadcast to our own custom event and listen or you can say observe this event in our second application which we call a receiver app so let's send a broadcast so first call send broadcast and you can see it will require an intent so create a intent and within this intent you need to pass your custom event so that custom event is actually uh in a form of string we can pass so go to your build dot gedel and copy your application id because this action or you can say event name must be unique otherwise if it is collided with another event name then it will be received by the application which will actually receiving that event so due to this reason make sure this action string is very unique and lastly i am appending action send and i am also going to pass some extra and first we need to pass our key so com gor broadcast r e c e i v e r here lastly we have to append extra data and my data is sender send data okay and within this broadcast just simply put this intent now it will be broadcast to every application which is present in our android device and the event or you can say the broadcast receiver which is interested for this event is actually receive this message so jump into our receiver side application so this is our receiver app and first i am going to create a broadcast receiver so private well i am going to call this broad this is an anonymous class so i can create like this and implement on receive within this pair of parentheses first i am going to change this to context and p1 is intent remove this to do so first thing i am using when statement in order to check the intent so intent has action and when this action is exactly same to our sender action so copy this whole string go to your receiver app paste it over here and if it is equal to this then we are going to show a toast message so toast make test context your message and lastly we have toast length long dot so we need to pass this message so this message is actually received from a our intent so intent get string extra need to pass our key so for key go to your sender app and copy 
this key from your sender application jump back to your receiver application and need to pass the key remove this question mark and here we are going to show the toast message so i am using receiver app receive and what it will receive it will receive the data which we can pass from our sender application all right so now i am going to register and deregister or you can say unregister this broadcast receiver I'm going to register this thing in our on create so register receiver pass your broadcast and second parameter is of course our intent filter so i'm going to create intent filter and pass our action string so copy this thing paste over here and lastly pass intent filter now our broadcast receiver will listen for our intent filter which have an action of this all right and in our on destroy i am going to unregister our receiver so simply call unregister receiver and pass your broadcast receiver okay so why we put this register thing in our on create and deregister or you can say unregister in our on destroy because our application is present on the background still our broadcast receiver is attached if you write the register code in our on start and unregister code in your on stop method then if your application is present on the background then our broadcast receiver will simply unregister because when we put our application on the background on stop will be called but in this case if our application is present on the background our on destroy method will never be called until and unless you destroy this activity so due to this reason i choose on create is our registering part and on unregister is actually happen in our on destroy so our receiver app is running now go to your sender application and run this sender app so our application will run successfully and here you can see this is our sender app and when i press this send broadcast button our receiver app will receive data which is which is sender send data okay so when i click one more time you can see receiver app receive sender send data so what will happen under the hood it will broadcast a message on this particular event and that event is going to be listen our this broadcast and it will receive that data and so a simple toast message all right so that's it for this video and if you like this video please subscribe my channel